The cysteine itself can be helpful through the thiol system, and then secondarily, cysteine is helpful by increasing glutathione, which when you have inflammatory problems like a hangover, you're burning up a lot more glutathione, so direct and indirect help there. Hey, it's Dr. A. This is my YouTube channel, and we talk about all things integrative, etc. But today we're going to dive into a real popular topic. We got tons of questions on N-acetylcysteine or NAC, and what's it really doing for you in your body? So let's break that down today. So as we look through, we're going to talk about how NAC works in the human body. We want to talk generally about the benefits of normal physiologic cysteine in the body, want to look at the effects on illness, and also the benefits of normal cysteine in the body lead us to other positive things that can help us with natural detoxification. We want to wrap around all of those things today while we're talking. So the first thing you want to think about is one of the big jobs of cysteine going in the body. So N-acetylcysteine is a very absorbable form, you take it orally, of cysteine. It's also a drug, actually, that can be injected or breathed in through a nebulizer or given in a number of ways. So it's a very versatile substance, but it's basically an amino acid. But as we've mentioned in other videos, cysteine is in the middle of and is the rate-limiting amino acid for the formation of glutathione. Glutathione, we've got tons of content on glutathione, but it's a primary antioxidant in the body. And by rate limiting, what that means in biochemistry is if I run out of the other amino acids that make up glutathione, it doesn't really slow down the production as much. If I run out of cysteine, the production pretty much stops. It might be a little made, but it pretty much stops. So that's rate limiting. So N-acetylcysteine is often used to help with the formation of glutathione. So if we're thinking about benefits of N-acetylcysteine, one of them is it can help your body in the form formation of glutathione. So that's the first one. Now, because glutathione is one of your primary antioxidants, if I have amino acid going in that helps make that, that's going to help a number of things to include inflammation and immune function and a number of other goodies along the way. Now, I mentioned that N-acetylcysteine is a drug also. So why would they have a drug that was an amino acid? Well, they've had the drug since about 1963, I think, or four, and uh, used to have a trade name called Mucamist. So mucus, like mucamist. And the mist part was it was often used in nebulizers. Okay. Now, when you look at the drug use of N-acetylcysteine mucamist, it's not as famous for respiratory disease as it is for rescuing people who have taken too much Tylenol, acetaminophen. So the antidote to acetaminophen poisoning is high-dose N-acetylcysteine given usually intravenously to help the kidney damage that the acetaminophen caused in the liver. So it's well-known indication in the hospital world is the antidote for acetaminophen poisoning. Now, you might think, well, how often does that happen? Acetaminophen poisoning worldwide is one of the top drug poisonings in all of the world. So it's not that uncommon. So it's not uncommon that NAC is used as an antidote. But the other reason it's used, and the reason the drug has the name Eucomist, is it was invented to put into nebulizers, those things you breathe, the, you know, it looks like vapor coming out, breathe that in to help to thin mucus secretions so that you can breathe easier, whether you're on a ventilator or you're having asthma problems or other things. So we've got a ton of respiratory benefits. As I said, helps if you have Tylenol, acetaminophen overdose, and a number of other things that could be used for medically speaking. The other way it's looked at is through its driving of immune support. Now, you might think, how does the amino acid cysteine help with immune support? Well, there are some direct ways. So the direct ways would be like respiratory mucous membranes in the GI tract and the respiratory system. They create a lot of subtypes of mucus that come out, and that's the mucus that we see, you know, our saliva and the mucous membrane coverings and all that different stuff. One of the reasons that we have trapping of viruses and bacteria and stuff when we breathe them in or even eat them is that the mucus can be mobile or thin enough to find its way out and cover the mucus membrane like kind of like sticky like flypaper and trap the bugs. And then there's stuff in the mucus that's immunologic that can bind them up or kill them. 
Well, one of the things that happens that makes people more prone to respiratory illness is the mucus secretions become too thick. Now, in regard to the mucus secretions being too thick, that means they're going to come out and they may have incomplete coverage. So if I breathe in a bunch of virus or some other bad thing, it might be able to get in between the mucus layers, not be trapped like the flypaper, and then I don't have the immune coverage. So enough cysteine in my body not only helps downstream with antioxidant but regulation of the immune system, but it also directly helps with my mucosal immunity, help the mucus kind of get out there in a more uniform fashion. Now, I mentioned that N-acetylcysteine as a drug is used for Tylenol poisoning, acetaminophen overdose, but it's also helpful in other detoxification pathways. And one that was mentioned a lot in uh, the other NAC video was helping you after a hangover. So people have commented on that. Some people said they use it for that. Some people said, how's it work for that, etc. But here's another way to look at it. When you have an alcohol hangover, you have collusion of problems that create the symptoms. So there's dehydration and the cysteine isn't going to help as much with dehydration. You need to rehydrate for that. But then you also have chemical toxicity in your body. Now, it's not acetaminophen, which is the on-brand version a reason to use that acetylcysteine medically, but you have chemical toxicity and of many things, one of them is aldehydes build up to make you feel poisoned when you have anger. Well, if you look at the biology of getting rid of aldehydes, there's a number of things that feed into the removal of aldehydes. Vitamin B1 and vitamin B3 are important, but also cysteine becomes important in the pathway, both directly and indirectly, of helping to remove aldehydes and other toxins that build up when you have too much alcohol. So that is why a lot of people will use it. So I said indirectly and directly, the cysteine itself can be helpful through the thiol system. And then secondarily, cysteine is helpful by increasing glutathione, which when you have inflammatory problems like a hangover, you're burning up a lot more glutathione. So direct and indirect help there. And then if you take another step back and we leave acetaminophen poisoning and alcohol poisoning out of it, what else does it help with? Well, cysteine through N-acetylcysteine or cysteine in your diet is also useful through the sulfury system known as the thiol system. And that gets involved in a lot of phase two detoxification, especially. So phase one and two detox feed into phase three. But phase two is very important because it's involved in kind of grabbing on to detox molecules and helping them get out of the body through phase three. So the way that we want to think about that is if we're doing a lot of detoxifying naturally in our body, and that's, of course, the liver and the kidneys, but also all of our other cells do some level of detox, we're going to burn up more of the cofactors and substrates to run the detox. So if we have a lot of toxins we're moving through again, the cysteine can be very helpful through NAC administration to help out with global detoxification. All right, so I hope that answers some of the questions around N-acetylcysteine, its benefits in health, its use in toxicant exposure and toxicities, but also its use generally in general health maintenance, respiratory therapy, etc. I'm Dr. A. Thank you for tuning in. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out these other videos we put up here. Like, share, subscribe, join our growing community. Appreciate you. Thank you a lot. See you on the next video.